Make a Path presents Let's Talk. Let's Talk, The Walking Dead comic, another all-out war. All right, Deadheads, the cliffhanger for issue 144 was shocking, but it was also oddly familiar. When I first read that, I knew I seen that image somewhere before. So I decided to go back and take a look at issue 98 again, and these two are very similar. They both have a contemplating and shocked Rick, and they both have Andrea behind him asking, what do we do now? Now, I don't believe this is a coincidence either, and it seems to be a call back with some very heavy foreshadowing. Now to refresh your memory, in issue 98, the saviors attacked Alexandria for the first time and they showed Rick that he underestimated his enemy and they might actually be in some serious trouble. And with the current storyline, Rick also underestimated his new enemy and he discovers that they have a very large advantage and they might be in serious trouble yet again. Now back in issue 99, Maggie and Glenn were in a little screaming match. Spit was flying, it was like a breaking point, and they were talking about where they want to live and the killer's outside. Now, flash forward, we do see in the preview for issue 146, it's titled A Breaking Point, and we see an altercation between Maggie and Rick. I just thought that was neat. That's a small one, but trust me, it gets better. Now, going back to issue 99, this I love. Rosita is mourning Abraham's death, and Eugene is there to comfort her. Now, in the current storyline, Eugene Jean will be mourning Rosita's death. And also to add, and I think this is very clever, Rosita and Holly both came together and accepted their place in Abraham's heart, their separate place. They showed each other respect, they showed him respect, and they mourned him, but they came together at the time of his death. Now, it makes me wonder if this will also be mirrored in the current storyline between Eugene and the mystery man who was the father of Rosita's unborn child. Now go back to issue 99, they had a meeting afterwards and they made plans to travel back to the hilltop to get some more supplies and to get some more people to help fight their new enemy. Now I'm betting coming up in the new storyline, they also have a meeting. Obviously they're going to have to break the news unless the Alexandrians at the fair found the bloody bodies or something like that. That shit would actually be pretty crazy. They would get back to Alexandria and Alexandria would be chaos. But the growing friction between Rick and Maggie leads me to believe that maybe Maggie will say screw this and travel back to Hilltop, very similar to what they did in issue 99, and that led to Glenn's death. But is the Hilltop still in one piece? Have the Whispers already sacked the Hilltop? Now the Whispers are not even making sense right now, so I wouldn't even put it past them. Think about it, the Whispers do not want anything from the survivors, they don't want to destroy them or loot them or sack them, they don't want to just kill them because they're blood hungry you know what I mean it just does not make any sense and the whispers don't want shit from them they're not facing an enemy that wants anything from them the survivors don't give a shit about the whispers they don't want anything from them they don't want to kill them either it's like two tribes who had no reasons to go to war it, they just had a simple misunderstanding and one tribe said you know what I have a genius idea let's make a declaration of war and tell them we don't want war and that's what they did those heads making that boundary to me that's a declaration of war but they contradict themselves by saying oh we're just showing our strength we don't want war well you got to be a complete moron to realize you just screwed that up there's nobody who's not going to war with you now after killing that many people you just showed yourself to be a very unstable enemy. Only a fool would not wipe you out completely. How can you sleep at night knowing that kind of enemy is out there that would kill that many harmless people, men, women, children, elderly, just kill them for no reason other than to make a boundary? I mean, for all we know, Alpha might not even be in total control. She might be in control for now, but the Whispers could just say fuck it and they could ride into battle against the survivors with Alpha's head on a stick. That shit would be crazy. After all, she did show weakness and she claimed that somebody could just rise up and take her position if she showed weakness. 
Now, there does appear to be carefully placed callbacks to the introduction of Negan and the Saviors as the new big enemy in the storyline, and we're getting those callbacks now when we're being introduced to the new big enemy in the current storyline. So I'm going to kick it over to you guys now. Go ahead and reread Something to Fear. That's issues 97 to 102, or you can go ahead and read volume 17. See if you guys can pick out more to add. All right, daddies, get read. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.